every video, I think pretty much every video, I get a comment. Oh man, when are you gonna get rid of that that Japanese metric bike and, and get a Harley, get a Harley Davidson? Uh, well, for those of you who have been around for a while, you should know that I actually have a Harley Davidson. Because these horsemen ride with the Yes, that is correct. I actually do. It's, you can see it right here. It says Harley Davidson. Because I've had the Yamaha Bolt for over a year, and that's mostly what I do my content on and everything like that, not a lot of people have actually seen this bike. This is my 2005 Sportster 883 XL Custom. And I've had it for about five years or so. I got big plans for this bike. Big, big plans. Um, one day, we'll, we'll see how that goes. It's it's not it's not in the greatest of shape. It's you know it's it's got some got some rust on the wheels and you know it's got some salt deposits on it. There's a I don't think there's a leak actually, which is kind of strange. The battery's completely dead. I haven't ridden this thing in a while. The inspection is out, so I haven't been riding it. And uh, I need to do some work to this thing. And today today's that that's where it's going to start. We're going to start doing some work on this thing. Let me show you what I got. All right, so first things first, I don't like these. Uh, they've been on there for about four or so years. Uh, these grips are cheap Amazon grips. I got them because the ones that I had were completely falling apart. In fact, I'll post a picture of those right here. And uh, they suck. It hurts your hands a lot, so I hate them. And then this whole riser right here is the stock riser that came on this particular model, the XL Custom, and it looks stupid, it looks dumb. So this is what we got going on. I like the way that these look on some motorcycles. I rode Mike Wizard Over Combs Yamaha Bolts, and he had rabbit ears on them, and it was fun. It was actually a lot of fun. And then I got these Biltwell grips for them just because I figured that I would like how they feel, and I don't know, they're kind of cool. And then I got this Joker Machine gauge relocation thingy, which will move the gauge down here to the fork. There it is. And then also it is gonna give me my indicator lights back. Currently, the indicator on here doesn't all work. Neutral light does not come on. Um, the turn signals, I think, work. And then I don't think the brights comes on either but now we're gonna have all those they're gonna be LED and then they're gonna be right up here off of the gauge cluster or off of the fork excuse me not the gauge cluster this is the gauge cluster you dupes not sure how this is gonna go <laughs> we'll see I guess it's also so humid out here right now I'm literally like dripping in sweat I've only been out here for like 10 minutes and I'm just like dripping Oh, this is gonna be a great day. By the way, people, I don't think that a lot of you watch to the end of my videos, and so I'm gonna put this at the beginning, but if you didn't know, I have a Patreon. Patreon's actually knew about this whole thing uh, before anybody else did. They knew a couple weeks ago whenever I actually purchased this stuff. I'm also doing a $250 Revzilla gift card giveaway uh, whenever I reach 3,000 subscribers, which about maybe about 500 or so away. Uh, and that's going to be exclusively for Patreon. As long as you are an active member of Patreon, then you get to be entered to get a $250 Revzilla gift card. And like I said, it's Patreon exclusive, so uh, you got a pretty good chance right now because I don't have a whole lot. You get access to other posts, like whenever I got this stuff, you get access to videos. Like whenever I rode the giveaway bike in Florida, I put that up for my Patreons first. Uh, you get access to the Discord and we talk about future meetups and stuff like that, builds, all that. Uh, we help each other out with channel content. So if you want to join up, link is in the description. All right, baby, let's get this bread.
All right, got the bars off and the riser. This is going in the trash. I don't know what Harley Davidson was thinking when they did this, but dude, this is the ugliest hunk of metal. Bad, bad Harley, bad. I'm not gonna hit the camera. <laughs> Okay, bars are on. I just went ahead and set them up. Got a good feel for them. They look cool. They look neat, I think. Let's get a full shot here. So the goal for this thing is gonna be basically a chopper. I've already talked about it a bunch of times. I like those bars. I wanna do a springer front end, hardtail, blah, blah, blah. All the things that everybody wants to do that they like. And this is just the first step. Uh, I'm kind of at a point right now where I have to go get some more tools and stuff because these these little bolts right here that hold the entire speedo housing together are stripped like I said this bike needs some work uh, if you saw uh, while I was putting the handlebars on and I was putting the controls back on my uh, pull push my push wire because this is a push pull uh, mechanism. This my push wire was straight up just broken. Gross. It's rusted and busted. Rusted and busted. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna try to get that speedo housing out. I gotta go upstairs and get some get some more stuff. And then hopefully we'll be able to get this speedo on here on the fork clamp. And uh it'll look cool. Here's the thing, I can't keep going yet with the sports, didn't realize it, but the Speedo relocation bracket that I got for XL Customs, since they have that stupid, fugly riser from the factory, they don't have a back to the speedometer so it does not go inside of the relocation clamp. So I had to order one of those. Also had to order the little cushion that goes inside too that protects the speedometer. And that's probably gonna take like two to three weeks to get here. I went ahead and ordered some throttle cables as well. Obviously the, the throttle part of the push-pull system is on, but the idle cable is not, it broke going to be replacing both of them just go ahead and get rid of them replace them they're old anyway and I don't want the other one to break on me as well so that's where we're at <laughs> kind of mad that I wasn't able to finish also don't mind the fact that um, we're on the roof right now and the video is a little bit tilted uh, it's because of the roof the roof is tilted I live on a hill and uh, the entire building is like a little bit <laughs> A little wonky so that's where we're at right now with the sportster the handlebars are on 
the battery is completely dead anyway and it probably needs to be replaced and then I need to get some tires on there. It should be ready to be inspected as soon as we do that. And after that, I can kind of start riding it some more. And yeah, hopefully that backing will get here pretty soon. I'll post an updated video whenever I do that. It's been about five years since I started working on that Sportster. I haven't really done anything to it in a long time except for just general maintenance stuff, oil changes, light bulbs, yada yada. I really need to start doing some stuff with it. I wanna I wanna start building it out and making it cool. I wanna replace the tank and put like a cool custom tank on there. If there are any ideas that you the audience have just please leave them in the comments if you have um you know any old <laughs> sportster parts that'll fit a 2005 uh, 883 xl custom feel free to send them my way i will be more than happy to take those and uh, see if i can put them on and work with them i'm trying to get rid of a lot of the chrome i don't really like the chrome i think that uh it needs to be Nah, I don't know about blacked out, but I'm gonna try to get rid of some of that chrome. It's just a lot. So that's where we're at right now. Kind of feel defeated. Not gonna lie. If you're new here, this is the Whiskey Chase channel. My name is Chase, and I do motorcycle related content in and around New York City, all over the country. Yeah, if you like this video, please you know consider subscribing. Uh, come on around and right down here somewhere. I don't know where it is. Uh, leave me a thumbs up for more Sportster content. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much. I love you. And don't forget to leave me a like and a comment. Join my Patreon. <laughs> because that's what's going to be funding. That's what's funding this Sportster build right now. So, like, I'm going to be taking the Patreon money. And I'm going to be putting that right back into the bikes. And I have my eye on some other bikes that I would love to be able to get. I really need some storage space. So Patreons can help sponsor that storage space. So that we can get more bikes and we have more workspace. And, you know, like I have some tools, but I have a bunch more out in Texas that I would love to be able to use. But I just don't have a space for them. So that's what that's going to go towards. Thanks for joining me today. And... Sorry, it was boring. All right, everybody, I'm out of here. Thanks so much. See you later.